But now that we're at the end of the rope and everyone's like a little tired, uh-huh. and it was a little sleepy, right? A little yeah. sleepy, yeah. a little sleepy. sleepy. You're near a little, the end, a right? Foggy. Maybe oh. running out of like topics to talk about a little bit, and maybe it's like, <laughs> like where you're are saying it like you're so hopeful to just like, yeah, you can go, you <laughs> can go. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're really excited for this to just not go in a good way maybe. whatsoever. <laughs> Never anything. <clears throat> um, welcome back to the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast. Today's a very, 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 very. Special day because we've you got. You can't just do that to people. That's that, fucked up. That's you can't just nine. do that to Are you him. Fucking Did he serious? ask for that? Are you fucking I serious? I really touched him on the hey, knee. Hey, okay. It's okay. It. Whoa, it's okay, whoa. Whoa, what are you? That watch takes him back out, to cold buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. what you, you touched me on my thigh. <laughs> but we were. Today is what? a very special day what? because we've got what? Mr. Michael Reeves on the podcast today. He's a bit of. He's like a. Ma- he's one of the mad scientists of YouTube. He throws up these every now and then, and he looks really, really cool today. He's wearing a beautiful uh, green, uh, leafy, leafy green Hawaiian shirt for our audio listeners. Love you to death. Um, but welcome. Welcome, Michael Reeves, to the podcast. Yeah, thanks for having me on, man. You're very welcome. Yeah, I you're... have to say, Michael, it was quite the conundrum asking you to get on the podcast. Yeah. We oh. had a... Twitter probably com- the we, weirdest Twitter conversation. We had a, probably the <laughs> worst yeah. DM conversation. Should I pull that out right now and just <laughs> yeah, kinda, yeah, read it out. It was just, like a fever dream. It, it's like we both had a fever dream at the same time. Yeah, I think it, I wasn't sure if like every time you responded to me, you were uh, like half asleep or something. I usually am. Yeah. But basically, I said, "Hey, in July we'll be doing a week where we have people come on the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast in person in the studio at LA. Dates would be July 12th to the 19th. Any interest in coming on during that period?" And you replied with. Ah shit! I didn't see this. How much longer are you around for? <laughs> and so I replied, That's, okay, "Fair so oh, far." Oh, I live in L.A. I'm just asking if you want to come on for those dates at any point, really. And you said, "Ah, rip! I'm busy for the next two days." <laughs> <laughs> down, it, down if you want to do anything in the future, though. And then I replied, "I said, yeah, I'm, that's no problem." I am asking about the July 12th <laughs> to 19th period. I didn't, I thought it was like the same, I thought it was like two days from then, so yeah. I thought it was the same week. Yeah, and then you finally replied and you said, ah, I didn't read that shit, lol, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was like, I was, I, I was having that conversation with you, and I was, I think I sent it to like either Slad or Charlie or something, and I was like, am I... Am I going, <laughs> am I going crazy right now? It's like, like one like, of those was, things where you go in for the high five and both kind of miss, and yeah, it's like just very uncomfortable. Yeah, exactly. All I was, I was being was viciously <laughs> gaslit by Michael Reeves and without any <laughs> yes. intention on his part whatsoever. Yeah, um, Michael, are you like a little bit of like a manipulator? Sometimes I just be doing that shit, you know what I mean? Really? <laughs> just like manipulating? a little bit of gaslighting? Sometimes I'm just playing with other people's lives and shit, you know <laughs> I like I mean? playing with people. <laughs> I oh, see that you. photo of Ninja with Travis Scott. He's doing yeah, this. Oh, Ted, I gotta show you this picture of Ninja too. I showed it to them. Oh, really? Oh, this is sweet. You ever see this? Is that picture? where? Where's the one that's like Ninja? I'm gonna like, get someone in prison. No, right? You're gonna crazy. play with what him? the fuck? It does look like him. And yep, like, yep, looks normal. Oh, looks normal. Ninja, right? that, that's totally it, ninja. It's ninja, right? It's totally. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Not ninja. What happened? Him. It all went downhill. That's on him. That looks. Cool, impossibly right? real cool. at the upside at the, down like, version. Yeah. It's wow. Should we like explain that at all? Or? So, no. Okay. What's your favorite robot? Just in, like in the world? Yeah. I love a uh, robot dog. Robot dog? I, the I Boston have, Dynamics. The Boston Dynamics. Do you have dog. robot dog? I do, I have that. What does he do? He about us. He walks around and shit, yeah. we Well, Offline TV has one. Offline, of course. Off, offline TV's just got their own little robot. They got the butler. robot dog. Yeah, the little robot dog. Does he just walk around? If you want him to, yeah. You can you them. can can you have him just like walk around as a dog and yeah. just like walk and go upstairs and, yeah. shit and just go wherever? As a, as a do- like in dog mode, like you can have him automatically just do <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, he can map an environment with his software, oh, and he'll shit. just like learn a path around a place, and he'll just repeat it. You can do different paths like a little and stuff. Mario Kart. Like a little Mario Kart. Yes, like a little and Mario then, Kart. He does a little trick. Does he charge himself or will he just No, he'll just die at oh. some, Yeah, he'll just pass out at some <laughs> It's point. actually much better if you yeah. think that scare the shit out of him to charge himself. A Roomba knows how to, how to charge, charge itself. Yeah. So yeah. you yeah. think that Boston Dynamics okay. would yeah. figure out how to They would f- you think they could figure that. You know they only sold like a couple hundred of the dogs. That was like the most unprofitable thing a company has ever done. Was a fucking robot dog. 
That yeah. shit made them zero dollars. Well, well, who wants it? Well, no the, one fucking wants the it. The NYPD wanted one them. until true, they yeah. until they realized that the world really did not want the <laughs> NYPD to have one. No, they did not. No. Yeah, robot You're, police officers. Not not yet. I'd say not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Probably not yet. But I mean, what are the practical uses of the dog? Or is it just it just doggy? It's like it's like I don't even think. Is it just knew. rich people shit? No, it's it was meant to be like an industrial thing. You used to like check out like a hazardous. Like zone, like if there's radiation, oh, you'd no. like send it with a camera oh. and it would like look at you. And the the like the lure is like and climb up stairs and shit, right? Not like wheels, right? Um, but like it was like how many situations it was like, yeah, fucking radioactive in the factory. Get the robot dog on the job, you know? Radioactive in the offline TV <laughs> yeah. house again. Gotta get the robot dog. <laughs> get another on leak. It. Like, yeah. <laughs> I have seen other Boston Dynamics robots that seem a little bit more suited. Like, yeah. for instance, there's that one that. I don't know how it does, how it picks stuff up. Maybe it's suction it's or something. It's a suction bot. It's a suction the, bot. That's, you, you mean the one on two wheels? It looks yeah, like a giraffe. Yeah, the one on two wheels that looks like a velociraptor. I had or sex something. with a Segway, right? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit of sex, Segway sexy. Sex in the time. Segway, yeah. Yeah, uh, that one looks like Amazon would just buy like, yeah. a hundred. It was almost like Taylor made for Amazon. Yeah. That was like yeah, the one that actually makes robot. money, but is like right significantly less badass. You know. The like amount of yeah. Mathens and robot dog, it's like that's super cool. And that's like their dream at Boston Dynamics, but then they're like, ah, make it pick up boxes yeah. for Amazon. Like that's yeah. sad. And do you have the thing do you have the extension to it where it's got the arm? Because have you seen those videos of Oh, I of, saw the arm. Dude. Yeah, the arm, it gets a it has this oh extra arm that lets it open doors and stuff. Third it's arm? Free, third, third arm. arm. Yeah. Whoa. Put anything you want on that bad. Wait, oh, third off the dog, off the top of the, off dog? the, top top of the yeah, dog. Yeah, wait, what do you mean yeah. third arm on a dog? How many arms does a dog have? Like a sorry, fifth arm, I guess it would be. A fifth yeah, arm. well, fifth that implies arm. that a dog just has is one around of four <laughs> arms. Well, snails just have one foot. Snails have one foot and one long. Did you know that? Right. You know I, what a snail does when it gets cold, Michael Reeves? Mm, it's just a shrivel. No, no. Oh, kind it's so of. much better. No, you're, you're it does mistaken. not shrivel. It does not shrivel. It retreats into its shell and creates what's called an epiphram, which is a mucus. Honestly, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> so, that every single what's time. an epiphram? It's a, no, the snail make, it makes like a mucus layer and then it can stay in its shell for just like two to four years. Charlie's been on warm. sort of a discovery journey this entire week where he originally kind of came into the podcast claiming- very, A very short journey claiming, where I googled what snails do. Yeah. Claiming though that, uh, at least for one podcast, he claimed that snails- uh, fossilize themselves and then un could unfossilize themselves. I, I rock. Which is and going into a rock form. It and only then sounds ridiculous when you pose it ridiculously. Because it's a fucking snail, right? It can do whatever the hell it wants. I think right. without the can, like without the context, you can be like, it just fossilizes itself and then when it's done. That makes no sense. You fossilization is being encased in rock. We becoming come rock. back the from shell that is shit, you, like can't, you can't you can't like get out. Well, a fossil is like where the rock fills in where, where the bones were. The bones were. It's oh. not even that's even worse. In rock. You oh, you're right. That so shit. it even really worse. made no sense. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> that's, why, that's, why why a, that's why I was having such a problem with it the whole time because you were like fossil. It was a snail, and now it's a fossil. Yeah. And what's your least favorite robot? Uh, um. Come on, Michael. What's your least favorite robot? Um, favorite robot. Maybe even from experience. Um, What's your least favorite thing a robot has done to you? What have the robots done He's to you? He's made robots that, like, half his channels just that's yeah, robots true. torturing one, him. That one, that was from a robot dog, cut my arm a little bit. Oh, that one shit. was bad when it slipped in the beer. I, the and it wasn't even the dog. It was like I cut off part of the oxygen tank, or not the oxygen, but like the pressure tank on top of it. And I was like, bolt cutters, this will leave a nice sharp edge oh, for me no. to grab. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I cut off one of the handles because I didn't want a big handle on there. It was like, blonk, blonk. I never sanded it down, so it was like little aluminum knives oh, just on the dog. Oh, Jesus. Which, uh, in hindsight, yeah, it was a bad idea. Right, yeah. um, have you ever in your life followed an OSHA guideline? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I think that answers your question pretty well. I think that, yeah, no, that, that pretty much sums up my question. Um, but, okay, so... If you had to decide, because you've done a lot of different projects on your channel, a lot of them require um, you showing about three seconds of Raspberry Pi gar jargon. Yeah. Because maybe some people care about that, but most don't. Most don't. Um, if you had to choose like a dream ridiculous project that you could do, but you don't necessarily have like the funds or like the yeah. robots. Yeah. Or the or the Not robots robot or, or or the volume of robots to, to achieve it like what would it be yeah a baby killing drone <laughs> and i i like i had didn't we do that overseas <laughs> 
Oh, oh, they already did that. Obama. Oh, Obama. Obama. Oh, Obama. <laughs> already got to that Joe one. Biden. Sorry, man. It's a bummer. You already got to that we, one. We could still work on it. You can still work on it. Yeah. You give it a try. That was more of an ethical dilemma. You ever do video? You ever play the game where it's like, if uh, you had no ethics, what videos would you make? I'd make a dog Whoa. catapult for sure. <laughs> A dog catapult? <laughs> catapult? Yeah. Like, if you imagine, like, oh, okay, imagine, right, okay, imagine if, like, it was okay to have no ethics, right? What videos would you make? It's a it's a thought experiment. Mr. Beast would be killing whales. He'd be like, 100, <laughs> 100 whale kills a day. Is he, he'd be like, whoever can kill the most whales gets a I Tesla. killed 100 <laughs> whales today. today. Yes. That would be, I mean, not sick now, but, like, if there were no ethics, that would be badass. <laughs> Mr. Beast would be, like, harpooning shit. In this video, I gave a small country to the person who could who could make tigers extinct first. <laughs> yeah. And then I covered it in 3 billion gallons of oil. <laughs> <laughs> Carl shot three elephants today, <laughs> and we gave him five thousand dollars for it. Each tusk you can bring just, back, you get a just Tesla. Just poaching, just fun. yeah, just poaching <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> he does like mystery boxes and it's just like dead. Another <laughs> tusk? <laughs> he does. In my P.O. box, another tusk? <laughs> God, I love tusks. I love ivory I so love much. Tusks. A dog and a catapult? <laughs> this will be perfect for my ivory chess set. Oh, God. Uh, my ivory play button. <laughs> I call Dream. And we, <laughs> the I call Dream and we sent a hundred of his fans to a very dangerous coal mine. <laughs> <laughs> coal mine. <laughs> There will not be a follow-up video. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, the world would be so much funnier if it was so much more wrong. It would. It really would. God, I love that game. Fuck. Dog catapult. <laughs> we, we teamed up with Dream and Mind. Real blood diamonds. Yeah. I feel like you have a perfect situation for that to exist, too, because you could kind of, your thesis could be, I just fucking hate those little tiny small crust dogs. And I want oh, it, I want yeah. to launch them yes. somewhere. The yes. white, the shitty white dogs. Somewhere. You know the shitty, like, curly white dogs? The tiny, curly white dogs with the black shit in their eyes? Like, they're really tiny. What is that from? Because you can clean that, right? Does anyone have a crust dog in here? Yeah. The, well, the yeah, that's why dog. they're called crust dogs. Yeast infections. <laughs> why do they all get eyes? yeast infections in their eyes? Because they're eyes? shitty... Shitty animals that have oh, that long sense. hair and just are awful. Oh, wow. You'd be launching those, right? You wouldn't be launching I'd be like, launching full-size dogs, I would think. <laughs> like a golden I mean, retriever? Like, yeah. Like, like you're, a St. You're Bernard? La you're launching, Look, I, you're launching like, Bernie's like, mountain we're dogs? We're talking about like the ethics are all out the window, you know? Are you so, launching, and so are the dogs now. Are you launching Champ Biden? <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden. Joe Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Wake up. Joe Biden. Wake up. I know living. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh god! Uh, Why maybe I mean, a cat launcher then? Cats would be cats wouldn't be fun. Ooh. They can always land on. Oh, their if feet. we're thinking of the non-ethical, but they thing, would do so very how fast. How do you make it so a cat doesn't always land on its oh, feet? I guess, yeah, I no, I I already understand how this works. You so if you were launching cats, you yeah. need you need traps. So you need <laughs> you need spikes. <laughs> You're so sure of this, and too. Like punji sticks? Like punji sticks. Yeah, punji sticks. Yeah, you would diary need and all. little piranhas. Di yeah, not like a piranha plant. plant. Yeah. Piranha, piranha? Venus flytrap. Yeah, right. For a cat? Are you talking about like that kitty launcher? Trampolines. He knows what I'm talking it about. Sounds like a fucking he knows what I'm little talking. balloon. Yeah. Yeah, you, sometimes you have a little torpedo in the air yeah, with balloons attached to it. Just yeah, see how far yeah, you can yeah. get that bad yeah, boy. How far you, you can gotta get launch it at a 45. What, what angle did I, you I launch was that doing, shit at? I was doing always like maybe a 43, maybe a 40. 43. Sometimes. Okay. It gave me a little more chance. 46 yeah. if you want yeah, to go yeah, high. I think so. We're talking about Kitten Cannon. Yeah. There's an old Flash game. Yeah. Kitten Cannon in real life would be the name of the video. Yeah. It'd be Kitten Cannon in real life. Kitten Cannon in real life. And then basically. I already have the thumbnail. Yeah. It's the kitten being launched into the air. Yeah. yeah. And then you going. Bright blue sky behind it. And then Michael Reeves. <laughs> and then a red arrow pointing to the kitten. Yeah. And yeah. also another red arrow That's pointing oh the direction god. and trajectory it's going. Oh my god. Which is <laughs> yeah. up it's towards just, the oh, Maybe the sun, the sky, some blue sky. You know, this, yes. Could yeah. you imagine what Mark Rober would do with that? I with was no literally ethics? about to mention that. Could you I imagine? Would... Today, we're going to kill squirrels. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm going to tell you how. We kill squirrels. What's the fat well, fat one's name? Th Char think about this. It's the whole video. Everything about it is correct. But at the end, when he has that little thing where the nuts are, 
It's a trap door below a blender. <laughs> Jesus. And then it falls down and the fucking Mark Rubber music picturing... starts playing. Yeah. It's Mark just like. <laughs> <laughs> I was just he picturing. Does, I got yeah. my nephew to try it too. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Maybe an elephant toothpaste that, in, but has a little bit of the rober acid in it, so mm. it's just like I used elephant cost, toothpaste like, to kill real elephants. Like, yeah, I, yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. Yeah. Right? I put Ooh. elephant toothpaste in the stomach of an elephant and made it explode from the inside out. Yeah. 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 You know, he recently that. did that video with the GoPros, one shark versus fifty GoPros. Yeah. One with shark, Noah Schnapp. One schnark. One schnark. <laughs> <laughs> one shark versus one bleeding child. One shark. He would probably do that. He'd probably yeah. have a little camera set up, little fun. sensors. And He'd also the to. GoPros so, behind him. Yo, he would love it. But if you could yeah. clickbait yeah. the bleeding child. And yeah. You know right. that's swimming around in his head for sure. You oh, know yeah. he's thinking about I, that shit. Yeah. I think that the Kids Olympics would be a little be. bit more impressive if we just like cut a little thing in the foot of every Olympian and then we started putting sharks behind them. What? Cut a little like in the 100 meter swim thing, Olympic pool. Saltwater pool this yeah. time. Yeah, all the swimmers would die. Put sharks behind them, they cut their just, foot. They would all die. How fast can they get to the other side? Not Probably not fast enough. Probably sl- not faster than a shark. Surely yeah, not would, faster than a shark. They know. would instantly die. Well, we'd have to evolve. <laughs> what will we evolve? To get faster than the sharks. Have you seen the... Well, maybe uh, like we'll but, get webbed feet. You were going to say something, Charlie? I was going to say, if you've seen from not like all the people that breed are the ones that don't get killed by sharks. The There's a movie that uh, takes place in Florida, of course. It's like the gator one, like the the gator horror movie um, where the lady is like trapped in a house with a bunch of gators because it's mm-hmm. flooding and also there's gators. It's called Crawl. Yeah, Crawl is what it's called. <clears throat> oh. um, and the whole thing is that she's a swimmer. And she's the her dad's like, you're the apex predator. And she needs to like outswim a gator. Yeah. Yeah. Does she? Is it a horror movie? Like what? It's it- like a horror movie. Yeah, it's like a gate, like a gator a horror movie. So like the whole house is flooded. She's like peering around. And you see like a fucking gator slide down the stairs, huh? How did the house get flooded? Uh, it's like the fucking storm a and hurricane. the gate. Yeah, the gators are just waiting, man. Okay. The gators are just waiting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I. Except I, they were here before us. They're gonna be here long after we're gone. You know. Yeah. Do you think uh, Boston Dynamics is working with the government? Do you think they put a gun on that suction cup? On the little suction cup guy? Yeah. They probably put it on the dog. They probably put it on the dog. Oh, they If must I were working I mean, there, I would have put it on the dog. I would, I would just take really? one home and put one like, on the dog. Literally, yeah, those sure. things could absolutely... I mean, how, what's their weight limit? 15 kilograms. How, that's a lot. What, how many I, pounds I, is that? How many actually, guns, I had this exact conversation you, can with... Can you tell me that in American? That's, uh, that's... Kevin from Backyard Scientist told me... He did the math. He said... That's a fully loaded M60 with a thousand rounds of ammunition <laughs> that we could put on it. 50, I don't know why he looked 50, it up. Well, that's no. actually perfect that you kilograms? say that. Yeah. Well, How many pounds is that? Some I like 30 just asked plus. Those, that same sentence that came out of my mouth. That's like a fully loaded M16 15, with a thousand 15 rounds. Kilograms? Yeah. You guys say it in the mic. Like 32. Maybe very close. Thirty-three pounds. You said that I'm like sorry, you were like Siri or that something. That won't that that won't <laughs> fit an M60 and a thousand rounds. That's, that's what Kevin. Well, well, he did the math. That, backyard you, you take that out with backyard, backyard scientists. scientists. No, take that I'll out. take He's that out with backyard scientists right now. You take that out with backyard scientists. A thousand rounds of ammo. You can't even find a thousand rounds of ammo. I guess yeah. He does the he does the podcast with William, right? He does. Yeah, that's I was on it and that was like oh really? Yeah, we had this exact same question. Yeah, and I was like oh that's good knowledge. That I'll never use again, and I just did, though. You could put, like, spinning blades on it. You probably could, yeah. Well, you could. It sounds like he did the math. He did. And, and you, why, can't, you can't put an <laughs> M60 machine gun in a thousand rounds on a fucking... It's not 30 pounds, bro. Those things are meant to carry weight. They've got motors. They've got mines. Electricity in there. They've got data. You They've can, got lots of data. Maybe the one... You know the one they... They torture with the hockey stick. Maybe that's the one that they can put an M60 put on. on. Oh, yeah. like that. That's the one's grown like, stronger from his pain. Yes. Right? Yeah. That's yeah, the, yeah, that's yeah. The, yeah. Was that the one that like led? That's the test one that led into the the like the full in, ones in, into the one you have. Yeah. Now, right? Yeah. Those are like the test ones, dude. I went to that parking lot in Boston where they like beat the shit out of them. It was like, oh my god, horrible things have happened here. I <laughs> this is it. where the uh, this is where the robot uprising <laughs> will start. Yeah. <laughs> that's such a classic joke too to make about Boston Dynamics. I feel like that's such an overdone joke. It's like, yeah. oh, here comes the here comes the robot thing, but like, yeah, it is. But like, let's and also let's not. They're the only ones doing that cool shit. Let's not beat around the bush here. 
those robots can go a lot faster than well, they're t than they're saying. Haven't you seen the video? Have you seen like, the the video from Boston Dynamics of all those robots dancing? Yeah. Have you seen? Because there's one that can. There's there's one robot <laughs> that can do backflips. Right, right after they kill, like a Fortnite dance, like a Fortnite dance. They yeah. fucking purge the entire <laughs> office. Just, dude, <laughs> just... there's one that can stand on two legs, and it can yeah. do yeah, yeah Atlas. Yeah. A guy. yeah, Atlas, yeah. and it, it can do backflips. So, yeah. Schlatt. Put an M60 in that thing's hands with a You're thousand fun. rounds. <laughs> so Why screwed. is that so hard to believe? You were talking about the dog. I'm now talking about something twice as big I as I literally the dog. just said it could go on that guy. The dog's fucking big. That too. guy can take it. That guy could hold that gun. How big is the dog? The robot. The dog's bigger than let's take a golden retriever. Is it really? It's not really? like a. It's not like a halfling dog. It's like a full ass. A halfling dog. Like a, it'll like go that. up like your That's hips fun. and shit. It's way bigger than you think. Oh shit! It's what's, terrifying. What's your um? What what's your your main go to character setup in D and D? What the fuck <laughs> was that? We're having a good conversation. Isn't Halfling okay? part of that? Halfling's like a D&D &D race. I don't know if that oh, was... I, thought, I, think I, I just, thought he was making reference I think he might have just that. been saying the small thought. I learned about D&D &D like mm. a couple we did it. Ago. We and did you're it. trying to get it in as I'm much as to, you can. I'm trying to get <laughs> yeah. it in. Well, also because Charlie knows a lot about You ever about like that. rolling dice while, you, while you're like sometimes doing like, like the robot stuff? You're like rolling like dice for like Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, sometimes I'm doing an artificer rogue sometimes in it, yeah. Is it true? So that sounds like something that I... No, that's real. That's absolutely real. Okay, so you clearly... Oh. Why Our did first... you give us me so much silence then? Don't have you, you have you heard, There's like an offline TV Dungeons yeah, and Dragons. Wait, so you played D&D? &D. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think the more like the never... problem was that it was like uh, on so the just... robot dog and then it went D&D. You're right, you know, you're and right. And yeah. But yeah, but the answer is yeah, I played D&D. &D. Do you play D&D? &D? Once. I, uh, for... This week. <laughs> <laughs> was it fun? For this, I, yeah, I DM'd them a little like sandwich-themed mm -hmm. uh, adventure. I have a D&D &D podcast ordinarily. Oh. If you you are right, though. Right. That was a bit of an ADHD moment on my part. And I'll admit it, and I'll admit it to all the, all the audience members out there, I fucked up. Michael, what's your political leaning? <laughs> <laughs> and, and how strongly? <laughs> and how and how strongly are you willing to defend it right now? <laughs> <laughs> to the death. <laughs> you guys want to rank religions? How do we challenge yeah. it? Yes. You guys want to rank religions? Ooh. Catholicism. Oh, okay. It was okay. It did like some crusade. The crusades kind of failed though. Like oh, we yeah, got to admit sent, about that. We sent kids. Yeah. Got to admit about that. Yeah. Kids got in a boat yeah. and then they went to the Holy Land and got they just like got on the wrong boat. Just decimated, yeah. And then they got sold into into child number 2, slavery. Islam. It's a very interesting I'm story. Not gonna, look, I'm not going to say anything. So that was kind of your only... That it's was a very yeah, I think the story. only one I was able to touch can, was Catholicism. I can only okay. touch All right. Catholicism. I can only touch... So I we leave it, we leave it I there? Guess, I think, yeah, we leave it exactly right story. there. Yeah, we yeah. can pick up some other point. You ever consider being an altar boy? Actually, I almost was. Really? Yeah, for real, for real. Wow. Yeah, I was raised religious. Really? And I'm not anymore. What religion? I like Christian. Or which Catholic? Catholic. I honestly Catholic. understand which if you don't remember. I had those. the same situation. I was oh, like, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't yeah. fucking know. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Yeah, one of those two. And then I was like, I was like in the Sunday school, and they were like, "You want to be an altar boy?" I was like, "No." Nah, you know. What's an altar boy? Even what do? does an altar boy do? They like, um, like they bring when, the things. They bring the stuff. Yeah, yeah, like when the priest is like, beckon me my oh. smoke chain. <laughs> right, that right. I smoke. Give me the, the little bread. The of God. smoke mace. Yeah, the, the bread and shit. Bread, like bread. give it out to people. The body. Yeah, yeah, the body. The body and the blood. Yeah, the blood. Yeah, that shit was banging, man. You can just buy. Yeah, you can just buy. You just buy the wafers. You just buy the body of Christ. wafers. Yeah, you could buy the. Well, it's not the. It's just the wafers. Oh, does he make? They make it. It the body becomes Christ? the body when the priest blesses it. Yeah, oh. yeah. So when he says it is, I ate those things up Would when I was like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're great. Very fun. Um, continue. No, I was just. I was almost an altar boy, and now I'm not. And oh, I never was. Out. Never was. Yeah. Were you? No. Yeah. I lucked out. Yeah, we all lucked yeah. out. We had CCD. Which you had to go to on Wednesdays. Yeah. What's CC? I don't know. CCD. You just had to go there to the church every oh. Wednesday after oh, school. Oh, right. To, to get, learn about. I've, yeah. I've been to that. And my, my parents <laughs> would to pick get me confirmed. Up. Yeah. 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 To learn about what? But it was like, it was like all through school. Yeah. No, that sucked. sucked. And, and then, you would sometimes see people from school there. And then, no. Like, I went to a different parish. So I didn't know anybody. I was just the odd man out. Everyone yeah, I don't else. Know. That huh. I went to school with, went to this other Catholic is it, church. Is it public where you're where you're from? Because like, are you, were you from an area that was like mainly Catholic? Well, uh, 
No, well, I think it's because my mom was Filipino, and it's like ninety five yeah, percent of Filipinos are Catholic. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's something like that. Then you you come home, it'd be dark. Like it's just such a waste, such a fucking waste. I'd yeah, come home, that. I'd come home, and I and my mom would just be like, "Hey, honey, what'd you learn about Jesus?" Yeah, I don't fucking know. Jesus, something like that. Right. I used to go in church. Um, like I, I'd have to go, but then I'd be like, "Hey, I, mom, I need shit." Um, <laughs> right at the beginning of yeah. like of the and sermon, then you would like just kind of yeah. And sneak the bathrooms away. were outside, so. Uh, oh, like they were nice. outdoor bathrooms, so I would just lie down in the field next to the bathroom for like forty five minutes, and I'd come back, and I was like, "Great shit, thanks, mom." And then wow. listen to the last ten minutes of the of the podcast. I was a podcast. <laughs> the podcast. <laughs> I was a Jesus. There's a fucking Joe Rogan up on the podium. <laughs> <laughs> the CCD podcast. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. So you were you you shirked. Your I shirked my religious, religious duty. Wow. duty. Yeah. I sure wow. did. I did. So did anyone tell me what hell's like. My mom. Yeah. Tell me what hell's gonna be like. Um, what do you think? Uh, what do you think that's like? Probably a green field with some nice clouds. Like, I'm guessing. Right next, next to the to bathrooms. Some bathrooms. Like yeah. Windows XP. <laughs> it was sweet. Bliss. Yeah, it was blissful. You know that? It was actually quite wallpaper? nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was your favorite Windows XP wallpaper? I think that guy got liked... paid like $150,000 for that photo. Really? Mm, I think the, the guy who, who did the, I think that's the most money that's ever been paid for a single photo is the guy who did the Bliss. Wow. But the guy who did the one that's the autumn, like the walking oh, the autumn, autumn one, yeah. got paid like 50 bucks. Oof. Bummer. Ooh. Doesn't that suck? That does that suck. Sucks to suck. How that much do you suck. think those, like when you boot up Photoshop or Premiere, one of those? Oh, those like the... sample images. Yeah, the yeah. sample images. Yeah, yeah. Tara, like would those. you would you look up how much the um the Bliss photographer got paid for? Hundred thousand. Wow. Yeah. Holy fuck. Jesus. Yeah. He was just like, those are nice hills. Forty five for the forty five dollars. Yeah. Oh. That's forty five wow. versus a hundred thousand dollars. Those were good upset. hills. Those I'd were good hills, upset. though, guys. Yeah, my, I don't know. My favorite one is the dog. That real that brown photo. What? The dog. The brown dog. The, or the fish. You said the dog, and then you said the brown. Yeah, photo. well, it's it's like it's like tinted brown, the whole thing, oh. and I think it's called friend or buddy. <laughs> friend? I think buddy probably might be it. I think it's friend. Really? Yeah. Friend? There was also the one with the fish. It's like a caveman's understanding of what a dog <laughs> is. Friend. Friend. I see friend. Fuck. Isn't brown. it crazy that isn't it crazy that we manage dogs? How did we figure that out? Oh, like getting wolves to go to dogs to turn to dogs, like domesticating. Is that yeah, what you're talking about yeah, that is fucking nuts. What a complicated process. process. Right? And yeah. like you yeah, think bro. a lot of mm-hmm. like you can't you can't imagine that when they first figured that out that like they oh knew this what thing they were will doing. yeah will be a pomeranian someday. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like the, they didn't have to be like someday this thing will fucking be the size of a football. So I got <laughs> I got a funny fucking story about that. Uh, Charlie, when I, when I was in, yeah, it's me, hey Ted. Um, I'm excited. That's I'm from I'm, I'm from Vermont, uh, and I was walking around uh, town and like a pre- I don't remember where we were. We were traveling somewhere. It was pretty woodsy, uh, and we ran into some nice woman with her really big husky. And I, I I was like, oh, this dog's awesome. I was like petting it. I was like, it's got such like a big head. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. We walked away, and the whole time my girlfriend was like. The fuck, and I was like, "That was an awesome dog. Can I get one of those?" And she was like, "No, that was a fucking wolf." <laughs> so it was just like literally, this person had like a wolf dog. Um, yeah, sometimes and I didn't you, realize. It, I just it thought could've... it was a husky with a big fucking head. It might have been like a half and half, like a husky. It was and a, probably and a, a half and half, and also probably <laughs> not legal <laughs> as well. Yeah, it's that. Those are a thing that are pretty common. I feel like, or as common as you'd imagine, that you can get a wolf to fuck a husky. But um. Uh, I don't know. Uh, How do you think it originally happened? Like it was probably like eating food at a campfire, and then wolves were just hungry and came by. Right? That's like what I, it was. All it took was one. All moment, it took was one, one moment yeah. of bravery from you, one dog. You ever wonder what like that one time was or in like history? Because there was definitely one time that that shit happened. You know, it's like where was it? When and did? The, and the, huh. the, the human was just like, I get, oh what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah Jesus! Like you, it comes up. It comes up to him and it's already like wagging its tail. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is this? Oh, fucking well, pomeranian. Here's a, a, like a question that I feel like would even contextualize this more. You guys think you could take a wolf? Yes, I think I could kill a wolf. Yeah, no, without wait, a knife. Wh- maybe. Oh, maybe not. One wolf. There's maybe. not a single situation where wolves I would travel not in have packs. a knife. I could not deal with a pack of wolves. Not at all. No, they are fucking scary. Yeah, a pack is would a pack tear. Would I think would tear up. anyone apart. Yeah, I think a pack. pack would yeah, yeah. That would kill one someone. wolf. But maybe I could deal with one. Wolf. I think as soon as it becomes two, is... think about how yeah. Scary. When it comes, about, okay. the difference between one to two now, is gigantic. Yeah. Now let me contextualize that again. 
Have you ever run into like an angry dog? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes. like imagine a pit bull coming at you. Yes. That's still a while away from a wolf, but I, I guess I'd kick it. But know. like that'd be freaky. Yeah. That would yeah. be freaky. It would be freaky. I think you could do it though. I think you could do it. Mm. Yeah, it's fun. Cool. Some people could do it. What's poppin', Chuckle Sandwich fans? Would you be interested in winning a custom Tesla Model S Plaid while simultaneously supporting a great cause? Well, thanks to our friends at Omaze, you may have a chance to. The future is here, and you're in the driver's seat, baby. Be among the first to own a Tesla Model S Plaid, the fastest and most advanced production car ever made. With nearly a 400 mile range, you're completely road trip ready. In a hurry? Don't worry, because you've got a 1,020 horsepower electric engine on your side that can go a quarter mile in under 10 seconds. Nothing can stop you now. Not even the government. The charity that Omaze is supporting through this is called Reverb. Reverb partners with musicians, festivals, and venues to green their concerts while engaging fans face-to-face -face at shows to take environmental and social action. Their work makes a real positive impact on the environment, including the elimination of 3 million plus single-use plastic water bottles at concerts, supporting 2,000 family farmers, elevating the work of 4,000 local and national nonprofits, and eliminating over 180,000 tons of CO2 through their Music Climate Revolution campaign. To potentially win this Tesla Model S Plaid and support a great cause, go to omaze.com slash chuckle sandwich. Once again, that's omaze.com slash chuckle sandwich. Now let's get back to the episode. I got, a, I got a thought. Put this in your pipe and smoke it. We made dogs into pussies, but cats have stayed the same. Cats is, still have humans at their every beck and call like they did back in Egypt. The cats were were glorified and everybody took care of them and they still do. But dogs used to be wolves. Well, they used to be dogs what? used to be wolves <laughs> and now they are little tiny chihuahuas that get yeast infections in their <laughs> eyes and black shit. And if you change their kibble, they will they need to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> they will start shitting. Well, that's mostly because the kibble that, that that most companies make for dogs are actually not really good for them. Like they'll kill them earlier. Well, that's well. I mean, we made them into pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, that happens to a Yeah, I yeah. I wonder why that is. I will say though that we went like the Egyptians worshipped cats. Though, yeah. like we My cat. talk about right now how cats are fucking assholes. Yeah. But in their society, that would be like, yo, you're getting killed. You're going in the volcano. Talking yep. about the, you're going in the play volcano yeah, at the top yes, of the, Egypt, the pyramid. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the Egyptian <laughs> going, volcano. Yeah, you I think go, you're conflating the Mayans and the Egyptians right now. You're going into the Sphinx. Right We're putting <laughs> you're in going in the volcano on the Sphinx. That's a bad, <laughs> yeah. little kiddie pool. You're going into the, the magma pit. <laughs> <laughs> the royal magma, or the, the pharaoh's nice magma pit. And the good you're one. going into the river of mercury. What? <laughs> Going to the mummy zone. There was a wasn't there a pharaoh who drank mercury and then they buried him in, with rivers of mercury? Sounds fucking stupid, bro. Did they have mercury back then? Yeah. Liquid that's mercury. That's a pretty that's a pretty random one, but I'm yeah. hopefully you'll pharaoh be able to get something. Pharaoh drank mercury. Google that. <laughs> she Huang drank mercury thinking it would give him eternal life. Did, Did not. It? No, no, very uh, dead. Did Shortened the life How did a even, lot. Where go? do you even get mercury from? That's I, a question I would, for I you. would honest. That doesn't sound stupid. That doesn't sound stupid at all, especially for back then. It's like, have you ever seen like held? Yeah, mercury? it's like what the hell it's is? It's like this? magic. Yeah, it's like a liquid that is metal and moves, and it's heavy as fuck. It's fucking. How heavy is? Is it just really it dense? It is way denser than like steel. So if you have a pool of mercury, you can drop a steel cube in it and it'll float to the top whoa that's Holy cool shit. It's fucking insane yeah so i completely understand why it's like yeah that that gives me eternal life for sure i would have drank that oh, shit if yeah, i were long that ago shit, like, i would like fucking yeah it's like what the something like, you put in your pipe and smoke yeah oh for sure yeah and that's your the pipe and smoke it. but mercury is incredibly toxic insanely no, yeah. can you, you even if you touch it right that's still bad i think you die through? if you touch it i oh, think okay. i don't know you so die how did this fucker get away with drinking it i think right i don't think he got away with it this is a Scooby Doo. <clears throat> oh, if you touch it, it, a small amount may pass through your skin, but not usually enough to harm you. It's oh. harmful when you breathe in the vapors. Oh. Oh, so you okay? Could... So no vaping 
Don't fade Mercury. Mercury. Right. Put this in my jewel. The, the <laughs> you got your said. Mercury cart with you today. Good <laughs> good the Pharaoh's jewel. <laughs> Yo, this is uh, 60 Merc. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can go Merc, that high, yeah. dude. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we do treat cats. I mean, the, the consensus with the people who are like, yeah, cats are assholes, they all like have cats. Ah, I know. think Jam. I got a beautiful cat named Jambo. Very handsome. Very right. polite. So such a polite guy. I mm -hmm. saw him in a viral Twitter meme like that had an like an hour and a half ago. Yeah, it had like it was just some random person didn't follow me. Had no fucking clue who I was. Made a meme with with like a little Wojak being like, one second, oh, this life sucks. I hate everything. We're on a ball floating in space. Next second, and then the Wojak's all happy, and he goes, oh, look, a cat. And it's just my fucking cat. It's just a picture of my cat cut out against the white background. 125K likes, Yeah, like, right? yeah 130,000 likes. And I responded, that's literally my cat. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. It's my cat's, so Ted told me to do that. that was, Ted's that was, like, that you was should my... reply, that's literally my cat. Yeah. And I did. Yeah. It got a lot of oh, likes. yeah. When I hear, it's funny because a lot of people on Twitter think that they know who's writing the tweets because yeah. it comes from a person. But I've learned something very specific about being pretty much the sole runner of the Chuckle Sandwich yeah. Twitter account. Never that's probably a, a big one. <laughs> Me neither. I don't even know. That's how. probably a big one for everyone. That's uh, that's. I think you've posted one tweet, Charlie. Is that true? Yeah. Um, but a lot of the times when people. I'll reply to people and I'll kind of just choose a personality of like cated like words that I want to uh, say to someone. So I can just say something really, really aggressive and uh, people are just going to immediately think hey, that that's schlatt. Schlatt. Yeah, If, you if know, it's, if it's aggressive one. and simply put, then <clears throat> it's schlatt. Yeah. Um, for Charlie, um, Charlie's a little bit harder to like nail down because, but I think that if it was like, if I do like a pun, or yeah. if I do, like, I it's got to be, like, the base th reasons why, like, what people know them of. So, like, if I if I say something that's, like, really well-worded in, like, a very smart way, it's going to be Charlie, for sure. Wow. Um, Thank you, man. And with me, it's just kind of, I don't know, I say, like, fucking stupid shit, I guess. So you get a little bit of aggression. I got a little bit of aggression, little bit but, of aggression. like, also just, like, garbage. How would you describe yourself, Michael Reeves? What would a caricature silly. of yourself be like? Yeah, a little quirky, silly guy. Quirky, silly guy. You're a little quirky, silly guy. Yeah. What would a what would a caricature of yourself make as a robot? Probably dog catapult. Probably. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> that's pretty fair. Yeah. Why a dog catapult? You just think it'd be funny to see them that's, screeching across the sky? Because I don't know. It's it's more like the like yeah today. It's like you know how YouTubers are like I made this stupid thing and it's like yeah, yeah I made dog catapult today. And if like, if we hadn't uh, domesticated dogs way back when, we'd definitely domesticate them with the dog catapult through fear. They'd learn yeah, a fucking yeah, lesson. They, sure. Yeah, they'd turn they'd into a, a chihuahua like an animorph <laughs> in one generate the same animal. <laughs> you catapult like, a, a wolf and lands, 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 lands a chihuahua. chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what cats would look like if we did the whole like selective oh, breeding thing with them. Because well, like that was a good point. How cats look the same? I think it's because they didn't get like because it was a fad with we, eugenics in like the 1900s. They, right? No, we kind of have. I mean, did you've got like Siamese cats. Yeah, you've got they're sort of. very beautiful. Cats got beautiful. Cats you've got, got the beautiful, flat face. But cats. like a fucking yeah. pug, dude. Jesus oh, Christ. Grumpy cat. There's grumpy, grumpy cat. cat. That's yeah, like a pug fuck. of cats. Alpha Red's cat also has its face <laughs> smush. Smush. A lot of the designer designer cats. Well, see, what yeah. a lot of people do is they buy cats instead of adopting, which is terrible, they wanna, yeah, awful they wanna thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's on God, that one. That's... We're waiting with bated breaths. I just adopted mine, and the thing I love about Jambo is that he's just a regular orange cat. And wasn't yeah. it like $35? Like, no. They waived it because he had ringworm, and I took oh, care of him. and you got rid of that stuff. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. I want to meet Jambo. Yeah. Are you a um this may be a a ridiculous fucking question given that you have said dog catapult. Are you a dog person or a cat person? I like both. Really? Yeah, they're nice. Would you I make know. a catapult? Like a little catapult? That's a little mm -hmm. too on the nose. It's like that taco show commercial. Why not both? Yeah, Porque Nolos, Nolos dog though. and cat a pult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. If I could make videos with no ethics, I'd play more Jack Bucks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God damn. Just, you'd probably just keep doing what you're doing now. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's, Schla- oh, Charles. Oh, I was just gonna say it's like it's a it's maybe a more difficult thought experiment experiment for us because we're fucking like gamers. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I don't know. I'd, just more racism I'd, than I'd, the. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'd, I'd game, but this time racistly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? Like, I don't know. Um, when we were... Oh. No, sorry, you go ahead. Um, when we were doing the D&D thing, we actually had <laughs> we had a character um, named Keith, and one of his main things was that he was just really racist. I got it. Like, we didn't really we didn't really like specify. It was just that like he just kept saying that he was racist. Like he's yeah. like, hey I'm Keith and I'm a so, racist. So you told me your fucking backstory and you were like, yeah, I went to culinary school with fucking Keith. Because I was a tiefling, so I was like a demon guy. Right. Yeah. Keith didn't need to be racist because Keith already cooked and served you your mom, mom to yep, eat, yeah. right? And then like in a foot, you were like, that's me. not bad enough. Also, he's racist. Well, he <laughs> he was racist because he framed me for the death of my own mom and caused me to get disowned. And then he was like, of course, the dirty demon would kill his own, ate his own mom. And I was like, Keith, that's a little bit racist. Like, yeah, Keith's like, if I could make one wish, I'd, I'd make everyone I'm fucking be racist. racist. <laughs> I'm Keith the racist. He was wish. And then Charlie kind of took that one line of just me saying, low key a little racist, I think, in the character description. It was like, I I'm just going to I ran with character. it so hard. He, he fucking so came funny. out of the shadows. I'm going to cook you into a fucking steak and then I'm going to be racist about it. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh. <laughs> you blinded him and I was like, what color is it? And you were like, black. I was like, ah! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because he's racist. Because he's racist. He's so, so racist. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, that was awesome. And we defeated racism in the end. Yeah. No. Well, well, we just I got one of them. We just got Keith. You yeah. wished for Keith We've to be gone, not racism. We defeated one instance of racism. Yes. You did. Um, yeah, Keith's wish would have been to make everyone racist, which I thought about afterwards, and I was like, And what that's kind of like unifying what everyone would that, in a right? way. Yeah. Every <laughs> single person racist? Wouldn't yeah, that just be... Like, I don't care what race racist. you are, as long as you're racist with me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would be beautiful about it. the world? Well, here's the thing. If ever, it would have to be <laughs> everyone... Link hands in racism. The only way it would be unifying is if everyone's racist, like, against, like... Themselves. Mm, themselves, yeah, I guess. But, like, everyone's in check all or the time. Or everyone's racist against every single other person. Like, if it was, like... it. Because if they were one specific type of racism, then that would just be just straight up societal oppression still. I guess, yeah, that's pretty true. It'd just be general, like everyone's racist. <clears throat> yeah. So it is, like, is this so, a thought experiment that you and, and <laughs> these other tech guys do a lot? It's like, what would we just do if no one, like... I did it with Will just, sometimes. With some, Will, like yeah. frequently? Like, should we be worried? From time to time, we'd think about it and be like, well, whale, whale boat. Well, <laughs> harpoon. <laughs> so again, back to whaling. Just again. I gave ten strangers a hundred harpoons and told them to get as many whales as they could get find. God, that would be sweet. For a hundred thousand oh, dollars. That's good. Yeah. That's a fun. Like, thing what other play. crimes would you game. try to commit? Um. Like any you like really want to do, or maybe you've already done. Um. Maybe ones that. You don't have double jeopardy. For yeah, them. I none I can say out loud. Double jeopardy? Can you say them really quietly? Really? Silence. Whisper them right into the mic. Never mind. Okay. Uh, double, no. 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 Not really. No. no. None. None that I'm not not planning. Would to you commit to adultery? No. God, no. That's the greatest terrible. racism of all. What? Would you say the Lord's name in vain? God, no. <gasps> Michael. Jesus Christ! Oh! <laughs> oh, I mean, holy shit, guys! Oh! Oh! Ted, be careful. Ted? Now wait just a goddamn minute. Oh! 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 It's holy his light, fuck. it's come to take us! <laughs> For our audio listeners, love you to death. <laughs> Borov just made lightning strike in the studio. Bor- Borov just called God into, into the studio. It's rapture. I'm not ready to go by the, the to the lawn next to it's, the bathroom. It's, it's, no, <laughs> eternal lawn. Isn't like the Not completely the in sync yell. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Actually. You guys, you say you're gamers. What do you guys gaming nowadays? 
I feel like it's kind of getting I've stagnant. I've been playing a lot of Smash lately. I've yeah. gotten really into Smash. I've been trying to get better at With Smash. Who's, who's your I've, main been, I've been teaching him. Um, me and my girlfriend, we've been playing a lot because my buddy from from my my childhood friend is coming and visiting with his wife mm -hmm. and they i've been basically telling tucker because we used to play smash all the time that i'm going to get my girlfriend to the point where she can kick his ass because i think that's hilarious mm -hmm. um and so he's been practicing and then her and i whenever she's over we just play smash the whole time <laughs> basically um and then charlie came over and he is like i felt like i was like kind of okay at smash um, but right. then, like, imagine Char like Charlie walking in, and he's just this fucking behemoth, this demon, this fucking destructor, destroyer of all time. He fucking broke my timeline in half, fucking built it back together. Turned him into a pretzel. Yeah. But Charlie's really good, and yeah. he's taught me some new things, and I think I've elevated a little bit in, like, the last, yeah. like, couple days. He's yeah. been playing Captain Falcon, which makes me That's my happy. main. Really? really? Captain Falcon's my main. He taught so me how to do, like, a jump and then and then... Back air, like a, like a running and then reverse. Yeah, the reverse. Yeah. yeah, and like yeah. I mostly that, spend on Falcon, the time. That's on, great. I mostly spent my time on the ground mostly, oh, yeah. and then the I, air I, game's I, huge on Falcon. And I had to learn how. One of the things about Smash that's really hard that I've learned is how to do the half jump. It's like you a little half press because you have to press the button really fast, fucking fast. fast. Short half fast fall. Yeah, maybe. you can slide yeah. into it. Slide doesn't really. <laughs> I mean Kirby. Yeah. What's he your like, favorite move? Oh. Down B. That's crazy. <laughs> I go up. <laughs> I come down. <laughs> I feel like if you go, the higher you go, if you fall down, it does more damage. We've talked about this. There's like like the gravity bonus. You know what I yeah, mean? Like you when you start playing Smash, you're like, I'm gonna get so fucking high, and I'm gonna get like you reach way, terminal velocity. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Kirby. when you get that high too, you can, people kind of forget about you up there too, especially if you're playing on a map like Temple. Yeah. I so only I, watch him when we play, and I just like I'm just like doing. You're it. waiting for I'm him like, to go. It. Yeah. And it's the only thing I do. <laughs> That's it's the best. It's a good experience. With so I'm just flying time. around, and it, I mean it works because no one chases me because they can't ju jump like yeah, they seven can't go times. Out, yeah. Kirby right. can't. I mean, no. you, you can't catch Kirby. But I know there. he's coming down. But I I gotta come down, and I know how. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another game that that at least I I played on one instance, but we should definitely play more. I've been oh, yeah. uh, I and Schlack got me into it was uh, Day Z. Oh yeah, really? Oh, Weirdly enough, Daisy. Daisy. In, in this day and age? Oh yeah, God. yeah. Because oh. there's this new map. Though actually, honestly, Slat, you could you could talk bunch about bunch of new fucking maps. There's Namalsk, which is well, Daisy. Those of you who don't know, it's a survival game. You basically just run around. There's some zombies. There's it some used real to be a players. mod for Arma. Yeah, it used to be a mod for <laughs> Arma that they turn into a full game. And uh, there's loot around. Basically, you spawn. You're almost dead already. <laughs> gotta find food, gotta cold. find- Cold? Yeah, you're cold, gotta find clothing, all that shit. And then, there's zombies, but there's also other people, and you don't know exactly, you know, what the vibe is with mm, them. People are yeah. the real monsters. Be careful, you can talk to them. Yeah, people are the real people monsters, the real that's monsters. what I'm saying. You gotta make them naked. Anyways. Yeah. And we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. We'll get to that in a second, but, yeah. Really? I mean, fuck, man. I've been playing <laughs> DayZ want. since yeah. the standalone came out. I have over a thousand hours on it. It's my wow. most played game on wow. Steam, besides Sakura Beach. Yeah, and Schleich yeah. got me into like this new map yeah. that's in Amals, where it's just like yeah. super cold there and stuff. It's like in the tundra of Russia. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's literally, it's so, uh, it, I spent like the first 10 hours it was learning how to survive pretty much. Yeah. yeah. But All the food is frozen. You have to spend time at fires to thaw the food down and yeah. also it warm yourself up. It's really hard at first, but then once you get the hang of it, it's actually not that much harder yeah. than normal Daisy. No. And it's cool because it's a small island. And the thing mm -hmm. that kind of sucked about the original Daisy is that you've got this map, Chernus, which is. It's basically a running simulator. Huge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's like 15 minutes running between each town. Yeah. No. Between anything. Yeah. It would take you a f like literally a full day to run yeah. from one map, one side of the map to the other. My God. That's disgusting. <clears throat> have you guys yeah. tried Rust at all? Any Rust? I hate it. Chat? Really? I hate you hate Rust. it? No. It's so I violent. I've never really gotten a chance to properly get into Rust because I have no one to play with. Violent. I, I you, you tried to do like a little like Rust like role play kind of server with my friends. I was having a lot of fun. I was running around yeah. naked with a rock. Yeah. We found like I got like an NPC with a gun and I had like one of my friends uh, and I, we'd basically go to one side of the Jeep, hit him with a rock, run away. Distract and he, him. And the, yeah, the other they, one would yeah, come up and hit him with a rock. <laughs> we just kept doing that. The Rock um, Society. And he didn't drop a fucking gun. We did they that never like, do. No, and I was like, I didn't know that um <laughs> and then like some dudes just like rolled in like killed us so it's that's how it is that's yeah that's how it i don't know man it's always like it's always tough for me because i want those games to be a cool social experience like when i boot it up i want it to be a cool social experience yeah but i'm not 
good enough to justify not yeah. just being yeah. immediately yeah. shot in the fucking head. It's, you know so, I mean? it's probably one of the more violent games I ever played. Like in terms of other players, they'll just run up on you and blam you in the head. That, yeah. Blam you to right. death on the ground. Say slurs at you. It's the classic experience. It is. I have the same kind of thing in like, have you ever played Sea of Thieves? See if oh, these nuts fit in your mouth? I didn't mean to play that. It's fucking awesome. Holy oh shit. Sorry. How did you, did you walk oh into that? God. You were the one who wanted to talk about it. Yeah, I just posed. Sorry, it was yeah. just really just what, a what just happened? question. Anyways. Um, uh, I've actually never played. No, oh, he was talking about... Uh... The pirate the game? The pirate? Pirate game. Pirate these... I don't know. <laughs> pirate game. Pirate game. The pirate game. I'm not gonna you say. Know <laughs> you know it. So, Michael, yeah. the game about thieves. There's some. Zombie apocalypse. I have a colony. Whenever you go out or into my walled city, I inspect you. I take all of your clothes off. Okay. This allows me to check for weaponry, and it allows me to check for bite marks. Okay. Why is this not foolproof? Because you don't have a TSA scanner. No, you don't need a fucking TSA scanner. You go to the All low, you need is me. Oh. And I'm doing the checks. What if you die? My right hand man takes over. Who's that? I don't know. Is that Michael Reeves? Are you interested? Uh <laughs> like if it's a in the zombies in the zombie apocalypse, right? Right. The threat is the zombies, right? Obviously. Yeah. But you have a wall, so that's fine. Right. right. You right, have people right, manning, right, right, right. manning the wall. Big yeah, wall. Yeah. Big wall. <laughs> so the other threat, which has historically been the case in every single zombie film, is the other people. Yeah, they get bit. Because the people are the real monsters. You check them <laughs> at the gate. You say, no weapons, no bites. No clothes. No clothes. Well, get you can those put the clothes, clothes off. You can put the clothes back on if you want to, but oh, you have what? to strip down, and I will look at you from top to bottom. Right, okay. Uh, this way you have no weapons. This way you have no bites. Okay. And then you can live. And what are you going to do? I feel like this works. I feel oh, like, I feel like yeah. this works. Oh, you're vindicating like your theory. of yeah. yes. This is how you check. Right. This is how I check. This is how you check. Now, right. if he was in a prison situation. Well, let's, let's just let's start here first. Then, we'll, then we can talk about prison. We did talk about this with Ludwig and Ethan, though. We oh, don't need to talk about this. Well, with then I got to hear about it. Well, well it would it work? What, do you think that's a good idea? Like ha it would prevent- Strip them at the door. The zombie apocalypse eat. It wouldn't prevent it, no. Well, from but getting it would into prevent, your It would prevent our, our fucking people from having any issues. Because, and hiding, oh, hiding bites. Cause... You can't hide a bite, and you can't bring a weapon in that would harm anybody. What if they could, they could make it up, right? They could do a little makeup job on it? Perhaps. Where? What they you, could make who are you going to? You could color the oh, gun they, flesh they might and tape it. it to you? Is that no, what No, no, I saying? meant the bite, not Wait. the gun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the AR-15. You <laughs> <laughs> fucking concealed, concealed carry indeed, yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, what, are you going to hire a makeup artist to cover up the zombie? Well, I guess that's pretty concealer. smart, especially concealer if it up, stupid maybe? people. No. Hose. You hose. wash it off. Hose. Hose, hose it's full, it becomes foolproof. Hose becomes hose. So you just hose people down. So it oh, yeah. is like an actual. Pre so it's, it's an actual prison. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a zombie apocalypse, why don't? And this is going off of Charlie's point. Um, why wouldn't you just like kill someone who's a bad guy and you what take this and they, and you take their skin? You don't make it look like skin. You put make an AR. What do you mean this is going covered in oh, human it's... skin? And then it's sort of easier to pretend like that. This would never happen. Why would this never happen? This would never happen. Why would this never happen? Because it's just, it's, honestly, it's bullshit. Michael, is this a video you'd be interested in doing? Yeah, the skin AR. The skin AR. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly, skin Ted, AR. that would never fucking happen. You're such an angry little elf. A little flesh AR. It wouldn't. I'm just saying, in the zombie apocalypse, <laughs> that shit would not happen. Now that is not. Would not happen. The Christmas spirit we were would looking not, for. I'm just saying it wouldn't happen. Do you think that would happen? What about also prison? Could get a prison. Yeah, and then Schlatt saying that if he were to get a prison, like I was the one who posited the idea of the prison. Mm -hmm. yes. I think it would be very good because of the 50s walls, watchtowers, yeah. yada, yada, yada. Uh, great area for uh, recreation. You have a weapon, you have an armory. Maybe. I think it's a great idea. Um, but No one can find the, the armory because it the just way looks like Schlatt and the rest of the group sort of depart okay. is where he talks about Capturing zombies and putting them in jail cells and then playing with them. Like dogs? Well, like any 
any way you want to. Maybe not the way you play with dogs. <laughs> I'm just saying, I feel like I'm a fucking broken record at this point. You are. Because I've said it three times now. I've had to explain well, this. I got to hear it. You yeah. put the zombie in the cage. What's it going to do? You can, you can fucking play with it. <laughs> <laughs> you can fucking do whatever you want. You it's can run so experiments funny. and like shit. Like a transformer so like a war tomorrow, tomorrow, the right. tomorrow war with you like throw a Chris ball Pratt. And pick it up, maybe. They tie that female fuck up. And they just run tests on it, find that 100% bond. You can play with it a little bit. Have you seen The Tomorrow War? No, I have Wait. On the, Amazon Prime? I, I watched the first bit. I watched the first chunk. That's such a badass movie. Yeah, I a love little that chunk of it. Movie. You like that? I like we watched, so we, <laughs> it we like talked about ago. it on the Ethan uh, Crank Gang Plays episode, mm -hmm. and then Charlie, Charlie got inspired, and we really wanted to watch it, so I was like, I'll watch it again with you, man. Yeah. I will say, the first review, it's all really downhill after it. Uh, yeah. And the fucking, I mean, it's a stupid movie, right? But it's so much it fun to watch. It gets really stupid at the it's end. It's so much fun. Well, I kept asking questions, and you were like, no. Because um, I wanted to, I wanted you to experience it yourself. Oh, and I was the the actual like reveal for the the monster. Very good. Absolutely loved it. Was yeah. fucking phenomenal. It yeah. was so good. No, and then was... after that, it's like it's kind of like the alien aliens effect where they're like they show the monster. Okay, like they've kind of yeah. There's now you just you have really to you've okay, blown your load. Yeah, you've yeah. blown your load. Let's throw more at them. I yeah. guess. And then it's like it's like the horror thing where you do one horror movie and you set one in the same universe and now it's action. Because yeah. how do you keep the tension, keep the stakes, and people actually yeah, know that is a what good is? Point. Yeah, that's kind of the yeah. I, I, but I within one that, movie, <laughs> right? They yeah. just kind of fuck off. I think them. that for a blockbuster, like some, a lot of the scenes were very like a lot more compelling than I expected them to be. Like there was, I don't know if you saw that this part is this was pretty close to the beginning, mm -hmm. but basically. Chris Pratt and all his civilian and military friends are, are getting transported through the wormhole and then there's a malfunction and then they get the flying they down get, from the Yeah, they get put maybe fucking two thousand feet in the air, like above mm -hmm. the city. Yeah. And there are people literally falling from the sky and landing on the they're edges not parachutes of buildings. Or anything. Yeah, they're just, landing up yeah, like yeah. they're literally just falling and dying. It was badass. Like, that was a cool thing. It was badass. It was yeah, fucking was it was cool. terrifying. Yeah. It was oh, like yeah. can you imagine being put in that situation where you're 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 skydiving without a parachute, and like the only reason why Chris Pratt lived is Chris because Pratt. he uh, landed in the pool, which, by the way, would have been due to surface tension, would have hard been as hard, concrete. hard as yeah, concrete. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. well, it's future. It's future pool. So. Oh, it's future. Oh, right, it wasn't yeah. yeah. future. Was probably future. Pool. Probably the pool future of water. Glycerin. It was, like, it was yeah. thick water. Did you know that the only reason why the the first time I ever learned that water would be as hard as concrete when you fall from, a, fall from a certain distance is because of the book series Percy Jackson and the Olympians. No, did someone die in the no, book from just it? at some point they, they just, were falling I mean, towards water. It makes water. sense, I guess, contextually. He's like, that's why they bubble it on high dives to break the surface tension. Really? Do you know that? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. That's why when you're diving so after a certain- So they put air in between? Like so that's why when bubbles. you're diving off like a really high diving board on like dive team, they will like- Bubble the water. So don't aerate the water killed. because really? it breaks the cert. Because that's what yeah. surface tension is. I remember before I knew that, and when I would ride planes, I was like, "How does anyone die in a plane crash? Just land in the water." <laughs> I remember thinking that as a kid. It's I was true. like, "Are you fair. are you dumb? Are you just yeah?" In the I was water, definitely idiot? on like the camp of when I if I ever fall off something, I'll just fall. I'll just fall in the water and live. No, I was just thinking like I'll take something with me, like my backpack. I'll put it below my feet, and then I'll jump up and right then it'll break. <laughs> Then I'll springboard <laughs> off. <laughs> yep. Yes, yeah, sir. Perfect fucking sense. That's like, that's like some Minecraft water bucket. Like, it like, is. Absolutely. Yeah, it really is. Is. Absolutely. I'm tuck and roll. No ethics. Let's test it. Fuck it. Big double springboard. Let's off no your ethics. Backpack. Let's test the Minecraft water bucket. Test. <laughs> Just get all right. So get a bunch of people in an oh, elevator man. at the top of a building. And I put a water line. bucket in the bottom of the elevator put shaft. The, put the just cut the line at the top, and then tell them to jump when you think. <laughs> <laughs> jump when you think. It's jump good. whenever you think. <laughs> Uh, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine. You'll be okay. Oh you'll my be God. like that scene all over again. Jump when you think. Is that how, actually how you survive? I thought that was no. like a common like myth. No, that's how you die. No, you're dying. I think you die. Way. I think you're supposed to like lie down on the floor, right? Isn't that the, like, like the after? Thing? Wait, I mean, no matter what, you all you have hit. the same inertia, so, you so lie it's down like it doesn't really change like too much. I, that's what I've heard. Like, I mean, I guess it spreads out the spread impact. Spread out the spread impact. Out the impact. Yeah. I think that's the idea. Yeah. 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 You know, this is a fun fact. Uh, if you're jumping off something high, if you need to jump off something high, don't jump down. Jump forward. Is that? Uh, because if you jump down, all the force is going down. And you can't do anything about it. Oh, so you, it's going like if that. If you jump, if you jump forward, you can land and roll and turn it into forward momentum because you have some. 
And that that's where free runner Charlie comes into play that's parkour, here. Yeah. Oh. That's parkour, yeah. That's parkour. Have you ever done parkour before? Charlie's a bit of an expert. I've not. Do you actually no, I would parkour? not call myself an expert. But you do I just, it. I like it. You yeah. roll and shit. I did and a stuff. bunch in like college and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Um, after post pandemic, I kind of didn't really want to like grab things and just be like, I'm gonna yeah, lick, yeah. Lick, the, lick these bars, and run around. Did I ever and do shit. Yeah. Speaking of shit that isn't that you do in college that isn't frisbee or slacklining, I've been going rock climbing lately as well. Really? That's fun. That's just badass. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like rock climbing or do you like bouldering? I like what is oh, bouldering sorry, is bouldering is like the free climbing on the short kind of course. I like the short. Yeah, they're free. fun. Did you yeah. chalk up your hands. Chalk up. You fucking dip your shit in there. Yeah, I only went. I've gone once recently. What, I'm uh, going tonight actually. Right after. Oh, this. very cool. Actually, what fucking, you know what? It'll be fine. Yeah, I can do the V zeros, and that's about it. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I um, I it's really fun until you have to be good at it. Is what I've found. <laughs> like when they get the really fucking small holds, I'm just like, oh, fuck, dude, when you have God to like turn it, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I want just the big thing so I feel really <laughs> so cool. I feel badass. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. Climbing yeah. up these big, conveniently I'm shaped sick. rocks. I thought he was talking about when you're like on the side of a mountain. And there's no line, and you just all of a sudden now you have to be good at well, rock climbing. Well, it's, it's interesting that you say that though, because yeah. there was a guy who very recently, yes. um, El Capitan, and, you, and you, El Capitan in Yosemite. There's a guy who who without a slack line, no free climb without like, a line. It, how how many feet was it? How much? It's like isn't it like three thousand? Capitan is seven thousand five hundred sixty nine. You so, can't. So fucking, well, 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 hold no, on. So no. the guy that climbed it though, like how far did he go? Yeah, for yeah. with Alex Honnold. Yeah. Who is like, have you ever seen Alex, the guy who did it? His name's Alex Honnold. His finger looked like big old, like, cocks. Dude, the finger muscles his on those fucking cocks. are, he, he, he's, they're thick, they look like cocks. I'd love to see that. They're, it's, they're, his fingers are crazy. What? He's got cocks. They do, fingers. right? Can we see them? Can we see the finger Can cocks? Can we put up the cocks on the screen? Can we see the brap brap finger cocks? Brap. He Love did, to see him doing this. He, he went like the, Yeah, they're just giant, <laughs> they're Huge running into each other yeah, exactly. and shit. But wait, do we know? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm throwing all, you all these gets, questions at you. you. Think he gets do we know how far he climbed though? <laughs> like the rock. <laughs> 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 he, he needs oh, yeah. to climb in the, wow. in the four wow. Wow. He's Holy big Holy fucking shit. fingies. Yeah, man, those they're people like, have so much grip strength. They're like pickles. You know what that just reminded me of? If your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer. Oh, that's cr that's yeah. just nuts. Do you think we're just all stupid? <laughs> do you think that you're just walking around being the <laughs> the guy with the biggest wow, did you intelligence? Oh my god, did you really room? do that? Did that guy just really do that over there? <laughs> 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 have you seen the one? Have you seen the video of that guy? And he looks at his hand, and it's just like a, it's like, it covered in like tumors and stuff like I that. I showed you that video. Did you show me yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, man. What are you guys talking when? about? I showed you that fucking video. Are you sure? Yes. I showed you that. I forget what the channel's called, but he's a, yeah, that dude's made a bunch of short, sh good shorts. Fine. All right. When's the last time you guys shit yourself? Uh, five, six minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> you need to leave. Oh, man. That's good. That's good. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I will say. Um, I've Come to myself. <laughs> no, that was Ludwig. Yeah. Ludwig on the on, Ludwig. on our his episode told us that he has come to himself. Ludwig come to himself on his on come our himself. episode. Like <laughs> like yeah. wet dream come to himself. Yeah, Lud Ludwig came mm. on and then he came on. It happens. <laughs> his pants from so inside. That, that happens. Oh. Man. Yeah, it just, it just happened to the best. It's of just you. Uh, but yeah. No, it was great. I, uh, I couldn't figure out how to. This is such an embarrassing story that I've never told before. When I was really really young, I couldn't figure out how to get into my house <laughs> because I was fucking stupid, um, and I didn't know the garage code because we just moved somewhere new. Oh, yeah. so you're like in survival mode? No, I was not in survival mode, but I really had to pee, and. I had like I was again just really young, really stupid. Didn't understand that you could pee in a bush. So what I did is I peed my pants, and then I got a hose, and I sprayed my entire body down <laughs> <laughs> to make it look what like the fuck? they were checking for zombie bites. To, yeah, no, to make it look like I had like fallen in a lake. <laughs> <laughs> so that that way, this is such a backwards like problem solving. <laughs> I love it. Exactly. So that that way it didn't like it wasn't embarrassing because I peed myself. Yeah. Because there was no but proof because yeah, I washed yeah. it all off in water lake. because yeah. I fell in a lake. Like, head to, fully clothed, head to toe, drenched myself, wow. still no way into the house, so I just drenched myself and waited for my parents to get home. <laughs> and he came home and you're and you're like, I fell in the lake. <laughs> yeah, what, and I, I like started, I started, I started to dry off in before our they got there. state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how my brother and I used to, we didn't, when we didn't want to go to swim practice, 
we would go to our dad's house and spray ourselves down. <laughs> <laughs> and you pretend like you You'd pretend yeah we pretend like we you just gave ba- got back exactly yeah and we were like they're gonna know it's just water so we like ran around too so it was like also sweat we basically like just worked, like you did most it's of like the we effort. did the same yeah. work yeah. yeah so fucking stupid <laughs> yeah i i can understand though like with like cause there's something different about getting in a pool like if you really don't want to get in a pool it's like I don't know. Have you guys? Do you guys ever have swim pools and uh, and oceans are ruined for me? Well, yeah. like pools during school. Oh, I know. I went oh. to before school practice. Like yeah. there was a pool period of time in PE, and then Whoa. Was there... what? You had a pool at your school? In my high school? Yeah. Yeah. There was I don't a know. Pool. Fuck. That, yeah. That's not common. I know. No, it's not. Is it not common? No. no. Absolutely not. You had a fucking pool, dude. That's well, like a, a pool for like swim you team. You really think you're better than us? Like a swim team oh, pool. No. Seriously? Well, a swim team pool is just a pool with little lanes. A on swim team. Uh, we just went to like a nearby pool. It wasn't like a yeah. Like a pool. Yeah. No. My like elementary school would go to like a nearby pool. Did yeah. you do like any sports in school? No. Uh, no, I I did like. Now I feel like an ass. When I was younger. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was really fucked up. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry I we had a know pool. That not every, yeah. I mean, I'm sure I knew that uh, not every high school had a pool, but I mean, it's, I I didn't yeah, know it would be that shocking. School lane you know, dividers. Rock, 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 yeah. <laughs> our pools and colors. Pools and oceans are ruined. Borf school me. had a pool because of uh, swim board. team, dude. Swim team ruined my my liking of water. What did they do and to now you? I just drink Monster. What do you do? Were you on swim team? Well, they really, do. yeah. What yeah, I swam. Went wrong. I swam. I was on varsity for one day. Yeah. Um. But you quit, and then or you get kicked off. No, I quit because we had to get up at like the crack of mm-hmm. s. Yeah. Five o'clock. It was dark out, and then swim for yes. like miles yeah, in and the miles. freezing. Yeah. And then you get up. You know, if you continued. And you go on a bus straight to school, and you're like, "Oh well, let me just fucking do school now." Well, or you, Charlie day. did. You did like far, like varsity or swim team. Yeah, right? I went to like states and stuff. I was one a captain. Uh, you were the, were the fucking captain? captain. Have I not said that? No, I, I think it swim came up team? maybe. I was captain of the swim team. If you had continued being on varsity swim team, you would have had as much of a shredded back as Charlie does. He's got yeah, some he's serious. Back I have a big back. I don't know why it's big. No, he's I big. I think it's because no, of like all that swimming. Like you, you must have been very, very yeah. swimming. No, a long time. swimming is big for the big for the back. Yeah, yeah. That's and why then, you see swimmers have broad shoulders because yeah. it's good. And usually, like big hands and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Little fucking finger cocks. I don't have. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Finger cocks. <clears throat> no, yeah. I quit sports to go into band, and that was a mistake. I was in also band. What did you play in band? Sucks. Uh, saxophone. Nice. Ooh. I did percussion. Ooh. Da, 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 da. Wow. Yep. Do you usually do like band camp? It's not, not, not often. We would do like a day to go to like a band thing, but okay. I would just like, I was in the, like the, uh, our band instructor was like a saxophonist himself. So oh. this, he gave so much lenience to the saxophones. Like the generation before, he was also a new teacher mm-hmm. who like recently came to the school. And like my section leader before me would just stand up sometimes in the middle of practice and he'd say, hey, mister. Fuck you. And he'd what? sit back down. Like, it's a joke. And then the guy would go, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he'd sit back down. <laughs> and what the like, hell? As a joke. What? It was super fucking funny. It was <laughs> goddamn hilarious. <laughs> go, hee, hee. Yeah, it was sweet. Yeah, band was actually like a really fun experience because of that, not because of the music. What like, happens it, in band camp? What is the purpose of it? My experience may be different than others. So, it was yours. Um, I went to a really, really competitive like band school. Jeez. So we went in summer. Uh, I know it's super lame. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's su- at no, it objectively sucks. I'm not. <laughs> Did, didn't you go to? Wait, hold on. Before you even do that, hey, you had a pool in your school. Didn't you, you go to fucking, the hell up? Didn't you go to hackathons? You fucking nerd? I went to one, and then I had Pierre assist, and then I never went again. Yeah, oh. and, it yeah. was just me in the stall with the guy in the middle, and he probably just heard. <laughs> yeah, you ever try to like pee on anyone else's robot? I want to hear. I want to hear about what Charlie did at the bank. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was eight hours a day. This is not a joke. Um, we would like get there again at the crack of dawn. It was like nine a.m. to like five p.m. So I'd bike. I'd, I don't Flat know. Stop. Yeah, I'd I'd bike there. We would do like warm ups in the fucking uh, like band room. The ba 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 on like percussion. You know, Glockenspiel, xylophone, marimba. Those are words. Right. And those then we and then we'd wheel them all out to the field. 
Um, where hopefully a, another brass player didn't pass out of heat stroke that day. Again, this is fucking real. Because you guys, you guys stand in the in like yes. just the sun. It was and marching practice. band. It yeah. was marching band. Percussion always has to stand. Did you with learn like shit on them too? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we would. Fucking so we have to. Ass. So the big thing was we'd always have to like get the wow. shit to the field. That was always a thing. We'd be like wheeling the stuff like through crowds of people, and then we just like perf- like do it like all day. Did you day learn practice. everything for band like during band camp? Or- uh, it was. <laughs> I mean, it was a lot of this is you a weak fucking bit. suck, man. This is, this this is such, such a weak so bit. So much ass. It's such a weak bit. He's talking about somebody did in high school, and you're laughing at him. Yeah, I can play the xylophone. Very strange. Three mallets in each hand. <laughs> you went to three. I went to three. I only remember. I think two. you can do four. R- fucking really? Mm-hmm. You to get like chords and stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. disgusting. Holy I'm shit. sorry. I was just thinking about you a should... really funny image Matt Watson showed me before. Oh, okay. oh my god. Yeah. That. I was telling you about my whole like my life experience, and you were thinking about the image Matt Watson showed you <laughs> so, of a fucking Wojak bonging out of a guy's ass <laughs> <laughs> the entire time. Using the penis as a little... Freaking awesome. That's, That's so nice of you, Shlatt. Did you guys so ever go to hackathons? Yeah, I went to I, one. I, I, wasn't really, I didn't really know much about like, computer science and I stuff. did one programming class. Mm-hmm. I did like, yeah. hello world. You know? Yeah, yeah. 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 All was downhill it, Was there. it for that thing that high schools did where they were like, we want people to code now? Yeah, like, that was my I don't yeah. remember that. What, what a, was that? We had a STEM program. Now STEAM added agriculture in there somehow. Hmm. Oh. They... Um, but it was like science, technology, engineering, and math, and like it was like the one good thing our school had. They'd like have a room full of computers, and they'd just be like, "Do fucking whatever on the computers," and you'd like kind of learn that way. Okay, they'd have good software on them. But like every year there was a hackathon, and so like the entire like a group of STEM kids would go mm-hmm. to it, and it was like on the other side of the island at a hotel, and you'd just like chill there for three days and like build things, and it was like it was pretty cool. They had like a lot of funding behind that is it. Cool. Um, I won. Our group won a cybersecurity competition. Nice. By like, but it was like the shittiest fucking. Th- we had like a, a USB stick you plug into a computer and it would mm-hmm. just automatically connect you to like a VPN. And that won like a security competition, huh. oh. which was, I mean, almost. I don't know what that no says. Work. Yeah. 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 Almost no work. It was fun. Oh. Where did, I mean, is that where it started for you, this whole thing? Or was it before that that you kind of realized it was what you wanted to no, do? No, it was like, well. I don't know. It's like it happened at some point. It was um, yeah. more that like my my I had like a friend in high school who was like insane at programming, like disgusting. Like he um, like for like a science fair project, he like turned in a a program game that you could put like any song into, and beats <laughs> would shoot out in all directions, and you had to dodge the beats. Like oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's nice. cool. Yeah, so like he was like a freshman like in high school. Like an audio visualizer, yeah, like but like an a audio game? visualizer, oh, but that's a game. Sick. I was like, Jesus Christ, how'd you make that? And he was like, yeah, I did some like, imaginary numbers. I had to use them here. And I was like, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> For fuck some you. reason, when you started saying that, like, oh, my friend was really good at, like, like programming and stuff, I mm-hmm. immediately thought of him being as a hacker. And then when you start to, like, go into what he was saying, I thought you were going to say, like, one of the really cool things he did was he, like, he, like, captured the president or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> like some, some of the, the, what the, what's the guy, guy something, the mask? Guy, guy Fox. Fox. Guy Fox. Guy Fox. Mask Fox. And, yeah. Yeah. Did you finish college with like computer no. science? No. No, I went one year. Did you? Did you? Didn't, did you finish college? No, I didn't finish any kind of college. No, it was shit. Nice. I dropped out of that thing. Was that the same time you had like the whole YouTube thing going on and everything? Um, I I was yeah, kinda, but they were very unrelated. Like me dropping out, I was really? definitely gonna drop out regardless of really. Yeah. yeah. For what was your sure. reason for dropping out? I didn't. It was just not the way to learn for me. It wasn't it. I like I had um. A job doing programming before I got to college. Yeah. And they made me take the fucking intro class. I was like, can I, like, could I test out of this, right? That must be so funny. Yeah, I was like, could I, like, and it's not like me being an asshole. It's like, I already, like, have a job doing this. Could I just get out of the intro class so that I could spend less money at this fucking college, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a waste of everyone's time at that point. I'm like taking a slot from other kids who are in there. Yeah. And they were like, no, you cannot. Also, you must learn English and math and stuff. And I was like, I already do the thing somewhat. Yeah, what am I speaking to you why right now, would I, why, am, why do that? And I was like, wow, I went fucking backwards by coming to a college. And it was like, right. it was like and I, I have a hard time learning when it's a dude talking. I, it's an easier time for me to like learn off a video, not in the front of class, and then I can rewind. You're a visual learner. I'm a very kinesthetic learner, yeah. Is it, t- uh, isn't it, t- is it tactile? Tactile you, or some shit. Da, 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 da. I think all those are bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, those are all knows. fucking like, I don't know. The blocks, you stack like, the blocks, stack and, the and blocks you learn up, something new. you learn something new. It was, it was ass. But there were like some fun parts about being in college. It was nice. Mm-hmm. There was, um, 
they had a good business program at the uh, college I went to, and I was trying to start a like a little tech company with websites and shit oh. with my friends. And so, like, to get business advice, I just walk in the business building and I go to like the one hundred level professors and I look at their nameplate. Mm-hmm. And then I go all the way to the top of the building to the five hundred level professors and I'd say that the one hundred level professor sent me to talk to you <laughs> about my business. And then they give me and the the five hundred level professors were like running companies and shit and doing right. this on the side. And I was like, Hey, bada bing, bada boom, it's me from Mister this guy's class to talk <laughs> nice. to you. Yeah. Was, Real uh, smart that was, shit, wow. Michael. That was fun as fuck. That was so. It's just like pretending. Did you ever get dude. caught? Never. No, they never gave a shit. Like college professors, like were just like. Ugh. I'm sure. And what would they, they even do? Like, I'm sure they, they would have been fine. I'm sure. A lot, I feel like a lot of professors spend a lot of time not really doing too much in office hours because, yeah. like, not yeah. many. Yeah. In my experience in college. Not many people show up to office hours and yeah, as, no. as they could. Oh. Um, so I'm honestly, I'm sure you're making their day even showing up and showing like, Hey, what's up? Help me with this yeah. thing. Yeah, and that's perfect because college is only really good for connections. It anyways. is. Yeah, it sure. Like, fucking just fucking is. meet people. Yeah. It is. Get get your foot in the door. Like mm-hmm. you can learn it. Exactly. You can learn yeah. all the code online. Yeah, hundred yeah. like, percent. Yeah. For instance, when I did that Universal thing, all the most of the people that I had on that set, I were met at some point through connections that I made in like the film school college stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I left that and then I went to Oahu and lived there for a while. What was that? And then you oh, became shit. a YouTuber. And I became a YouTuber. I ran a little uh teaching people how to code business on Oahu. That's cool. That was cool. fun. Yeah. I did a quirky thing where I, I made um I was like the only person who taught coding on the island, like exclusively or like who had advertisements for it. So I made like three or four pretend companies who like taught coding. And I was like, ev- for like a small amount of time, I was every single coding. You cornered the co- market on coding. Yeah, just by like learning. posting Craigslist ads and fake you, websites. You're a wow. bit of a so funny. A rat. It was <laughs> it was such a rat maneuver. You keep saying to these like these scams that you're yeah. doing. You're like, that was so fun. It was badass. Cause the my favorite. I guess it wasn't a scam if you're that. actually teaching. Yeah, it was just teaching. Like, I was you're actually just, teaching. You're just, yeah. you're, 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 uh, you're, you're game optimizing. Of, yeah, you're it was optimizing. Optimizing yeah. a good way yeah. to Optimizing yeah. through yeah. lies. Exactly. Yeah. I had yeah. one yeah. student Doing some SEO. who was like a, he was like a grown dude, but he was learning coding, like going back to school. And I like, I didn't answer his messages for a while. And then, so I think he got frustrated with me. And then I got a message like from one of my other companies and it was <laughs> him looking oh, for another teacher. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? And then I like, and then in our next lesson, I then responded to him because I was like, oh shit, I haven't messaged this guy in a while. And I was like, hey, you looking on codetutors.com for a teacher? And it was, I was like, that's me. <laughs> what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. Nothing. So Nothing. he's the one guy who kind of like discovered they're all him. It's hey. all him. Hey, I heard, I I heard Michael one. wasn't doing it for you. Hey, I'm Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Michael. Oh, oh, awesome. Yeah, I'd use like a public, the school library to teach the kids. I like didn't need to have a place. It was nice. I like I pretended I was a student at that college too. Oh, so you just showed up there as I like just a showed hot... up there, yeah. yeah. And they'd think like, oh, this is a student or like a teacher. Are you a, are you a fan of the Reddit uh R slash act like you belong? I love I love doing that. You love not, you yeah. seem like you love doing that. Oh, it's, it's so nice. What is there any other like what's the how often have you done that? Is there like a situation where you like have like the what's the most risky situation that you've gotten yourself into that's like that none too risky i like to do um my friends sometimes like we well before COVID happened we were did a game like in downtown la where mm-hmm. we'd see how high we can get in the buildings <laughs> like like how <laughs> high you could get no people oh, don't just do up, that go <laughs> up, awesome. up in the building Height. fucking 50th floor to like a weird ass party and they would just like let you in if you walked in and that's didn't look at them. Fucking huh. awesome. Badass. And we just bird scooter different big buildings and see how high you could get in the buildings. That shit's fun <laughs> as fuck. No one cares as long as you pretend like I'm also like I'm an unassuming guy. You know, I'm like Asian. Yeah. I'm short. And so like I look like I should just be somewhere and no one's gonna be like, What's that guy doing? Belongs, What's that guy over there? He belongs He's here. probably belongs yeah. here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you just go up in the elevator and I like walk in and just like nod to people and that shit's I love doing that like pretend like you belong. So. Wow, that think, shit's so fun. So you think I could this... get away with that? No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, so you look like you need to be kicked out every place you walk into. <laughs> you look like you've already been there and done something wrong. Yeah. Uh-huh. You look, you look like <laughs> that's like <laughs> if you walked into a place, you might be people might 
misrecognize you as the person that management was like, okay, if you see this guy, <laughs> you shouldn't do yeah. Get him out yeah. of there. <laughs> be very easy to make a sketch of me if I committed a heinous crime. Oh my God. You would I'd be gone in a second. Dude, you'd be. They'd find me. Yeah, you'd be in jail really quickly. <laughs> I could just go bald. If you shaved everything, <laughs> yeah, you'd be, you'd be good. Yeah. Unrecognizable. What's the highest floor you ever got to? Was it that 50? I think it was that 50. Nice. And it was yeah. like a cool like party type thing. It's, it was at one of the hotels in the detail A. Do you, so do you just try each level as it goes up? Or I, is it like, you? You're kind of, it makes it kind of sound like you have to complete each level before you can continue <laughs> like on to the, next, to the next well, one? A lot of the times those buildings need like a key card scanner to get in the elevator. Yeah. So I will be standing there <laughs> and then waiting for a group to come in and I'll... But you can't be waiting right at the elevator. So you're like off in the lobby. Oh, it's and a bit then of you, a gamble too. Yeah, and because... then you follow this guy in and then you hope that they either scan their card. And sometimes if they scan your card, you can punch in any level. But sometimes you just have to go off of their level. This yeah. is the most suspicious shit for like the least payoff. I Badass love it. That's fun. awesome. You so, get to see the whole city. Though. But there's a bit of a it's gamble beautiful. there too though. Because like how if a group comes in, how long can you follow it up? Because then if it gets to a point where it's like... You're really, really high up, and it's just you and another guy, and you're, and then it's like there's a conversation to be had there if you're going to the same spot. It's hey, like, you sneak in here too? Yeah. <laughs> it's He's a, like, neither, what? neither of you have the key card for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Damn. You completely Can't fucked. get back down. <laughs> Michael Reeves, do you think it's possible to make a key card that could open any fob? I, I don't think so. Uh -oh. a fob? I don't even know how fob any, works. A, fob, a, a, a master lock fob. Master like key mas fob. Master key card for everywhere. Yeah, master key card. It's called like a crowbar or something, you know? Like a bat. Mm, like a bat. Like a bat. You know bats. You know bats? I do know bats. I know bats very well. Pop, 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 pop. And That's so do your see. knees. Oh. Uh, Michael, have you ever broken a bone? No. Wow. Yeah, that's that's right. Did you like that? I can show you what it's like. Can you try that out? Yeah, do this. <laughs> so, Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> so we're, we're reaching towards the end of our, our time on the podcast, yeah. Michael. Mm -hmm. But before you go, Shalat's got a bit of a question for you that we yeah, ask our sure. guests. So we we do um we do ask everyone a question before we go. Um, you know, we've been talking a lot about robots and first. We we do this thing, uh, apart from the other thing that I was about to talk about, or the thing that uh, comes after that, right? Yeah, chuckle sandwich, chuckle sandwich. We're a sandwich. What part of the sandwich are you? Because this guy is the butt, uh, the two of the butt bread. pieces of bread that come in every loaf. Yeah. He is the schmeat. Yeah, yeah. I'm the mayo. Oh, I was thinking tartar sauce. You tartar could still sauce. be tartar sauce. Be tartar yeah, I was I wanna, about tartar sauce. I want to bring back tartar sauce. I want to start saying that when things go wrong. Tart oh, tartar you mean like they do in SpongeBob? Yeah. I want to say barnacle head. You're implying that that was like already a societal thing that people would say when, when they I wanted to swear. <laughs> when I get injured anywhere on my body, I want to I want to scream my leg. <laughs> I want to say between all words. I want the dolphin noise. I want to they say, would say it's the racial slur. Oh, I wonder what yes, that actually yes. meant. Oh, you okay. all that? What were they I wish I knew. About. What did they say? You I want, want to be, be able to say, I've been trying to catch you guys all day. <laughs> 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 There's a lot of anger behind that. I like that. Yeah. That's good. So you're the tartar out. sauce. Yeah, I'd like to be the tartar, tartar yeah, sauce. Tartar yeah. sauce. Okay. Little, this, um, um, would you rather have unlimited bacon, <laughs> but no more video games? <sighs> or. Would you rather have games, unlimited games, but no, no games. More games, no games, but no game? Yeah. Uh, One more time from the top. Michael Reese, would you would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no more video games? Right. None, none. Or would you rather have games, unlimited games, unlimited, unlimited games, unlimited games, but no Shoot. games. But but no games, no games. But none. none. Would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no more games, yeah. no. or would you rather have games? Come on. Games, unlimited games, games. games. Unlimited I games, I want unlimited games. I want unlimited games. no more games. games. All of us, all no three games. of us, would you, would you rather, rather have unlimited, unlimited bacon, games. Games. But, but no, no more games, games. Game. or games? 
unlimited games. games. Unlimited games. But, but unlimited no games. More, more games. games. <laughs> that is <a> fucking <laughs> favorite <laughs> dream. <laughs> Shit. Just make your choice. Make your choice. I want to make your choice. Make your choice. Make your choice. Make your choice. Unlimited games. Games. Unlimited games. Games. Unlimited games, folks. Game. Thank you very much for watching <sighs> Chuckle Sandwich, everybody. This has been Michael Reeves. Michael, we're going to do this thing. Got this camera, that camera, that camera. <laughs> Tell everyone what you got going on in your life. Uh, I'm, sometimes I make YouTube videos. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I make YouTube. Sometimes. YouTube, sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes YouTube. Though. Sometimes YouTube, though. Where do you do that? Not most. No, look YouTube, at that one. Usually, like, look on at that. No, that look one. one. You're telling on over there. Tell me, Cam. Go ahead and hold on that one. No, that that one's got it. Lean in a little bit. On YouTube, sometimes. Sometimes I'll do YouTube stuff, one. but not often. Maybe like once every three or four months. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Michael, for coming on. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. Keep on chuckling. Don't. I don't care. Yeah. Hey. Thanks for coming. Looks like it's time for us to rave.